Hey, what's up guys? It's Eddie. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install uh, your GeForce GTX 260 or any other CUDA graphics card for Adobe CS5 products. So I'm going to show you here that I have a CUDA enabled card. It's the GeForce GTX 260 um, made by uh, NVIDIA and the sub vendor is EVGA. Um, it's a nice card. It's overclocked uh, to to something something, but it's overclocked. Um, I'm gonna show you here how I got it to work. So first, um, with this is for Adobe CS5. So first, I went into my computer and went into my program files and found the Adobe Premiere Pro CS5 folder. And then I scrolled down and went to my CUDA supported cards text document and what you need to do is go to notepad and you need to go right click and run as administrator you need to do this because that's the only way you'll be able to save the file and so you need to open this up in it so I'm gonna go file open find it and go CUDA type it in CUDA supported cards open and so you see that I added mine already so it works for me but before it looked like this and these were the only cards that were supported so all you have to do is hit enter or you can just add it under here you can go here and add in G you just type in the name of your card no need to put in video it already knows that and just put GTX 260 so that and then you just file save it but mine's already uh, working so I'm not going to save that so once that's saved you just um, close that and then you go into your control panel and then you go to your NVIDIA control panel so here you would go to when it loads up you'd go to your 3D settings manage 3D settings and if you don't see this um, you should go up to view and click advanced and so that's all you have to do and then you want to click on this button here so you see here how I have everything added After Effects Encore and Premiere Pro that happens after you click add and then you just scroll down to your Premiere Pro application once you add it you should have CUDA enabled so if I click here on my Adobe Premiere Pro you see here CUDA dash GPUs and if you see down here where it says typical usage scenarios selecting a GPU to be used as a CUDA processor so that's how you enable it and then you just open up your Premiere Pro uh, program you just open up your project and you should see that CUDA is already enabled once you um, open up once you close out of Premiere and then reopen it you can see the yellow render line which means that CUDA is enabled all the way through and so you can see that is now yellow render line all the way through and you can play it back in real time depending on your uh, computer at full resolution and it works beautifully and if you you can actually see the difference when you go into um, your project settings general and change it from mercury playback engine GPU acceleration to software only it'll uh, change it back to the red render line but that's how you enable uh, CUDA from any graphics card from NVIDIA to work with the Adobe CS5 products thanks for watching